So today's a bit of a treat because I have both the brand new OpenCom UC2. This is the first one. And here I have the OpenCom UC. So number two, and this is the older version. We're gonna talk about some of the differences between them. There's only a few small minute differences and we're basically going to break that down and let you know if the new one is worth upgrading to. So let's start with what the OpenCom headphones are. How do these bone conduction style headphones work? Well, it's actually really, really simple. I'm gonna start by pulling out the OpenCom UC first. So this is the first model, the older edition. Let's pull it out. And inside you're gonna see a nice hard carrying case. <laughs> And then you're going to notice there's a few accessories. We have our charging cable, which is magnetic. Um, so all of them use the magnetic charger. We'll talk about some of the specs in a second. You have the dongle. So the dongle comes with both of these. That's what the UC is. And this basically allows a quick connection to any USB port. So really fast if you don't always want to connect via Bluetooth. Now, as for the headphones themselves, they are called bone conduction because when they wrap around my head, they actually sit right outside this bone and they're conducting that sound through the bone and into my inner eardrum, basically. It's, uh, the major benefit is you're still able to hear your surrounding environment while you're wearing them. So with these, they are extremely comfortable. They have this drop down microphone here. They have a little button on the side and this allows you to uh, basically drop calls if I remember right. Uh, they are water resistant at the very least. 16 hour battery life and on top of all this they have fast charging so it charges two hours in five minutes. So that's the first model, very simple. I'll kind of show you a comparison of the two because they are slightly different in the design. Now let's talk about the OpenCom 2. Now everything I said about the first model is true about this one. In fact they also come with the exact same case. The only difference in the case is where the dongle is stored. So they added a little as the cord runs out. They also uh, added a longer cord as well, so that was nice. They offered a little sleeve right at the top here, and this is just where you put your dongle inside. Just a little different, that's all, nothing crazy. The dongle design is slightly different. I think it has a different button design for when you're connecting, but not a big deal. Now the major difference between the new and the old one uh, is, well first they changed the mic side, so the mic is now on the right side. That's how you know it's the two model. But they've also slightly redesigned it a little bit, so it's a little sleeker all the way around. There's not a huge difference, but you will notice a little sleeker of a design. And one of the big differences right here is they have it now have a little mute button on the mic. Now this was a really wanted feature from a lot of people. So now when you wanna mute your mic, you press that button, it's gonna mute it, and that makes things a lot easier. Now uh, that was really the major upgrade they had on the OpenCom 2 compared to the OpenCom. Is it enough to upgrade to number two? I'm not 100% sure. If you already have it, I would probably stick with the OpenCom first edition you see. However, if you don't have one yet, I would definitely go with OpenCom 2. It's the newer version. That mute function is really useful. Uh, otherwise, not a lot of upgrades. Thanks for watching.